mixing your seed stop mixing your seed stop mixing your seed no more bunny hopping no more bunny hopping no more bunny hopping i'm just shocked at the mother who's gone through so much with the caucasian father who has psychotic disorder running in his DNA. And no shame or fault to her, but that's why when we talk about the snow bunny crisis, I need y'all to understand why I'm against the snow bunny crisis. These white women drop our kids off at the hospital and leave them, okay? Or you're having children with a Caucasian who has some kind of genetic disorder, psychotic disorder that runs in the family. They got some ancestral demons in their blood and you don't know about these ancestral demons and you pass them on to your black child. The snow bunny crisis is a problem. I don't hate nobody. I'm not against nobody, but we do not benefit from dating outside the race. We don't. We do not benefit from dating outside the race. Uh, if you have a question about your child, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. You suffer from the Umar Johnson crisis. Is that a snow bunny? Is that a snow bunny? Wait a minute. King Abdul, it's a female in the picture. It looks like a snow bunny in the picture, but it's a male name. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not dealing with what's happening over there. That doesn't involve me. I'm an African. Y'all care more about other people's issues than your own. Stop worrying about that war. You have a war right here. Stop worrying about that war between two non-African groups. You are at war right here. How you got time to worry about somebody else's war that doesn't involve you. There's a war against our children. There's a war against our women. There's a sex trafficking war. There's a miseducation war. There's a police genocide war. There's a homelessness war. There's a hunger war. There's a gentrification war. There's a mass incarceration war. There's clearly a psychological war against African people. You don't want to focus on the war. You got about 10 wars going on in black America. You have wars against the African diaspora. There's a war for African resources. There's a war for African land. But instead of focusing on Africa's problems, instead of focusing on Africa's problems, instead of focusing on the Caribbean's problems, instead of focusing on Central America's problems, instead of focusing on our brothers and sisters in Europe, our French Africans and British Africans and German Africans and Irish Africans, Instead of focusing on Belgium African problems, you want to focus on a war between two groups who can't stand black people. You want to focus on a war between two groups who can't stand black people. But then you tell me we should not be worried about Africa. We need to solve our own problems first. That's what you tell me. We shouldn't be worried about Africa. We should solve our own problems first. That's what you tell me. But soon when the white man goes to war or the brown man goes to war or the yellow man goes to war, you all up in his business. So why is it OK for you to get involved in the international problems of non-black people? Why is it OK for you to get involved in the international problems of non-black people? But it's not okay for you to get involved in the international problems of African people. Can somebody help me understand, overstand, and understand that? Can somebody help me understand, overstand, and understand why you don't want to get involved in Africa's problems, but you always want to get involved in other international problems of non-black people? You don't want nothing to do with Africa. You said Africa is not your problem. You don't care about Africa. But soon when the white man goes to war in another section of the world, you are all in support of him. You all up in his business. You marching for him. You protesting for him. You donating for him. So why is it OK for you to get involved in the international issues of other groups? But you don't want to get involved in the international issues of African people. You know why? You know why? Because you are still seeking psychological and emotional validation from your oppressor. That's why.
That's why you want to look white. You want to live white. You want to dress white. You want to marry white because you are looking to be accepted. 400 years later, you are still looking for emotional and psychological validation from Caucasians. Let me see if we got any parents on the call. Any parents with questions? This is the Black Parent Teleconference. Why is your three-year-old son hitting you? Somebody help me understand why our children are hitting us. She says he gets really angry and he hits me. Do I have any suggestions? Oh, yeah. If my three-year-old hits me, I'm going to spank that ass. That's my suggestion. If my three-year-old hits me, I'm going to spank that Putting your hands or your parents, as far as I'm concerned, can earn you corporal punishment. Your three-year-old son should not be hitting you. Where is your behavior plan, Felicia? You need a behavior plan. Consequences and rewards for your three-year-old son. Early bed, time out, loss of privilege, loss of toys, loss of tablet, loss of attention from mom. Loss of outdoor activity. You need a behavior plan. You should not be spanking your child every time he does something wrong. But if your three-year-old thinks it's okay to hit his mother. Earlier on the call, we had a 12-year-old who hit his mother. Psychotic disorder. You have a three-year-old kid putting his hands on his mother. Ass whipped. That's mine. That's what I'm doing. You, your three-year-old son should not be putting his hands on his mother. You saying, do I have any suggestions? Oh, yes. Get his ass in check. That's my suggestion. Get his three-year-old ass in check. That's my suggestion. No three-year-old should be putting his hands on his mother. 9858. Eight. I got my own incense. I got shout out to the African Cultural Arts Forum. I have my own incense. Dr. Umar incense. You can get them from the African Cultural Arts Forum in West Philadelphia, 52nd Street. You can get your own Dr. Umar incense from the African Cultural Arts Forum on 52nd Street. Go to ACAF.com, African Cultural Arts Forum. Get you some Big Papa incense. Okay? Get you some Big Papa incense from the African Cultural Arts Forum. When I make love to my queens, I burn my own incense. We only make love to my incense. I will never make love. I will never make black magic with my queens if I'm not burning the Ifa Tunde incense. So make sure you get you some Ifa Tunde incense. Okay. You will only conceive alpha males and goddess princesses if you burn the Ifa Tunde incense while you making black magic. Oh, yes. I only make love if I'm burning Ifa Tunde incense. Make sure you get you some Ifa Tunde incense from the African Cultural Arts Forum, 52nd Street, West Philadelphia. Don't get fresh, ladies. It's only 7.30 in the morning and you